Yo, what you got in your hand there, boy? This? Yeah, that shit, that shit clean. That's the hint. I got the better one. I got the better one. That's actually the base model. You got the base? What do you mean rep, bro? This is the highest quality one, man. NRG. So Brandon picked up a Works Bell Hub, and we're gonna tell you why you should pick up a Works Bell Hub instead of getting an NRG. Put your money and invest it in some quality parts. I don't really know why, but Andrew over here has NRG quick release. And Brandon, Came with the car, you moron. Yeah, I know it pick. I know you uh -huh. got it with the car. So Andrew got an NRG quick release uh, hub for his car. He came with the car. He actually bought it. Brandon over here, he picked up a work spell quick release hub. And we're going to show you why you should pick up a work spell hub. Right off the bat, Brandon already unboxed it. We have the NRG here to compare. What do you guys already notice? The construction. Look how thick that metal is. This is the quick release part where you mounted the steering wheel. Look how thick that is versus versus that on the NRG. So the NRG looks like it's made out of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> and you can also see on here, bro. What? On, on my car, like, if you open up the door real quick. So like, this is the part that goes on the steering wheel. Wait, see, if I did that, I would have lost Brandon's quick release already. So this is the whole quick release assembly. Okay, look how thick that metal is. And I mean, just, just look at the difference. Right off the bat, you'll notice that there's only a, a couple holes right there. Like yours looks pretty oh, wait. worn or something or what? You know why? It's been tracked in the beams. Does this one have different screws or something? Or like, are the screws the same or what's, nah, what's like, up? If you see the, the NRG screws that I come with, look how cheap that is. We'll show you guys the, NR, uh, the works belt one. Way better construction and it's Allen's. Another thing about the works belt versus the NRG is the works belt is like five times the price. Where the whole setup is around 500-ish, give or take $500. Without a steering wheel. Without the steering wheel. Steering versus, wheel can vary. Yeah, versus the NRG with the hub and quick release is 150 bucks. It's a pretty big difference and we know that not everybody can shell out that kind of money for just a quick release But I mean this is a safety item. It really is. Brandon did, like, didn't shell out for the works belt hub right away the quick release So he just bought the so The hub the hub the only. short hub. Yep, and the at, you can add this on later at yeah. any moment. So Let's get this started. So for this install, it's pretty simple because Brandon doesn't have an OEM steering wheel. He already has the whole assembly pretty much all there. So all we have to do is just take off the steering wheel. Pretty simple. So we have another one, just a heads up for my car. So that will be a real full on install. We'll show you guys how to install it properly on my car. All right, Brandon Lee, let's get started, dude. Hop on in the whip. You already know you guys got to remove all the steering wheel bolts. Get yourself a magnetic tray. Meanwhile. All right, no guys. I be jacking plate frames off the street. Coming to the parts car. Coming to a, a car that will be probably featured on the channel, guys. Can't give away what the car is. Yeah, you guys, you guys will definitely, like I could, we could just show you the exhaust or something. We could show you a little bit of the bumper. Y'all will already know, so. Y'all are too good. Yeah. Y'all already found out Brandon's car like, like, like that. But yeah, stay tuned guys. This thing is going on my car though. If you guys know what this play frame is, y'all are OG bro. The bro is gonna slap that license play frame on this ugly ass piece of crap with no frame. It got no frame, it got no bars. Oh, Brandon Lee got it off. Hey, don't press the horn button though. So I just take these from here? Yeah, just pull it off like that. But remember which which wire goes where. Got it, red. Kept. Red goes where? On this side. Okay. Okay. So if you guys don't have your thing wired up, you guys gotta connect this, so hold up. Just leave it like that. So basically, Brandon, let me explain to this kid. Mm. So it goes over top like that. Right. You see? Yes, so you gotta connect the wires up real quick. So I'm pretty sure red goes with red. Man, we ran into technical difficulties because this boy Brandon Lee. Hmm. Honestly, do not know. Your boy Breeze ain't got no horn. Technical difficulties, everybody. We're gonna take a look at this. Freaking, you know, always take a look at the instruction manual. We thought we were too good for that. It's actually in English in English well we are freaking stupid open this thing up so the red cable connects to the red cable mm -hmm. and then the black wire coming from this quick release goes into this metal bracket so with that all connected we can just put it all in and then give using the supplied Allen you guys remember on the NRG it was a uh, screws we're gonna use this to screw it in place so yes sir yes sir so Brandon and I got the hub on the reason why we only have two screws is because we're now gonna connect the hub so we can test the horn to make sure so just go ahead and click it in bro click her in all right Ooh. 
Look how sturdy that looks. All right, now uh, let's connect the horn. Oh fuck, it works. Pull it off, pull it off. Oh shit, it works. Okay, so now we're gonna be using the second wire that it comes with. Go ahead, bro. Plug that in there. Which one is it again? Huh? Where's the main Japan? Main Japan of your ass. It, okay. just, it just goes in freaking one way, bro. It's gonna, if it's not the right way, it's not gonna click. You have to, you know, to take it out, you gotta pre compress this while pulling this back. You know, mm -hmm. compress it and then pull the foreskin back. Pull it back, not twist it. Jesus. I'll show you, bro. I'll show you. You press the button. Yes. Okay. You pull the foreskin back, and then you take the piss. Yes. You see how it locked? Yes, sir. Wow, so sturdy. I don't know where these guys left off, but the quick release is on. I installed the plate frame. You have the screw. That's gonna be the title of today's video. Yeah. Plate frame install, baby. On the one and only. The one and only four-door McLaren. You straightened out the wheel, right? When you pull the steering wheel, it's like straight like this? Yes, it's straight, bro. Straight, bro. Mm. Bro had me uh, thinking for a bit. Brandon is actually running the works belt screws as a steering wheel holder because the steering wheel that originally came with the car are like super long, so he needs to buy some, uh, probably some Momo steering wheel bolts. The reason why <laughs> the previous bolts were so long is because uh, the guy put a spacer, this works belt spacer, I think, to extend it out. You know, but uh, we don't need that. When you buy a steering wheel or an aftermarket, whatever steering wheel, it'll come with steering wheel bolts, or you can just go buy some aftermarket the horn, ones. The yeah, They're pretty the cheap. I've seen them on Evasive. I'm gonna show you guys the energy quick release. So this steering wheel, you just pull this, these two little thingies, boom, comes right out. You just pull the backing. Pretty sure a lot of you guys know this already, but for it works belt, it's a little bit different, so. Go hop in the S2000 and show you guys that. Also, the NRG one is kind of like loose. Like, you feel that? Like, I don't know if it's just not tightened, but it's it's pretty loose. Wait, why are you showing all my imperfections, bro? Bro, I'm trying to make a good ass comparison. I'm trying to get a good ass impression from Works Bell, guys. Yeah. Oh, Andrews doesn't work. <laughs> Basically, the whole construction of just NRG, just, you can just feel the difference in Works Bell. Like, this is just plastic and uh, look at these screws. I mean, the other ones, they're uh, they're Allens and they're like, they're polished looking. These are kind of like rusted looking, I don't know. The work spell just looks a lot better. It's like this billet metal kind of feeling. And to take it out, you actually have to, it's not as convenient as the NRG. You actually have to push this in and then pull it. And then boom. Hey, pass me my wheel. Yeah, I got you, bro. Ah. Hey, let Brandon try it. Extra day to start. Lit, bro. Take it off. All right, see ya. So one day I was going up close to the to the work spell, like, cause I didn't know how to open it. Yeah. You have to push that button, right? Yeah. So I was still going like this, and I push it, and I fucking like tried pulling it hella hard. Uh, yeah. Come out, and I'm like, Ugh, <laughs> fucking straight up smack me in the nose. The funny thing is, Jacob would do something like that. I say that's a pretty A plus mod. Not gonna lie. I love that logo. But they also another thing that you guys want to consider when getting a uh, work spell is the hub. They have a short hub and they have the regular long hub. Even more critical on the S2000 because the S2000 doesn't telescope for the steering wheel. So you guys got to just like, you know, try on error or like mess with your friends. But Brandon, he's built pretty small. So it should work. It should work. You said I'm built small? Yeah. A couple weeks back, all of us are trying to help Brandon fix those wheel bearings and change out to ARP studs. You gotta be pulling off all the bearings, repacking them and all that junk. So we just brought it to the shop and we just got it back today. So Brandon can properly run all five lug nuts now finally. And you guys already know what that means. That means we're gonna be going to San Jose tonight. San Jose tonight? Tonight? Oh, no, no, no. And come on, we gotta show off the T37. Oh. Brandon actually looks kinda nice. Uh, looks pretty dope guys. Just a simple simple mod pretty soon seekers gonna have one of these one day uh.